Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog. I've been working trying to put the finishing touches on my Game Do We Know, Are Do We Know satellite tracker. It's pretty much good to go. Uh, the features are all implemented. I'll be doing a video of that again shortly. But I've also been trying to figure out something else I could do with the Arduino. I found an old Arduino NG, the older ones with 16K instead of 32K of memory, floating around in my box, and I decided to try to see if I could use it as an in-circuit programmer to program some of the tiny Arduinos that I have, or tiny Atmel chips, the AT Tiny 13s, that have only 1K of flash and 64 bytes of memory and EEPROM. So they're good for just things like flashing LEDs. So I found some instructions on the web and I thought I'd give it a try and here's how it worked out. And here's the setup that I used. On the left is my Atmel, uh, or the Arduino NG, this rather older one. It works fine in this application. In fact, it seems to work better because it doesn't need the uh, capacitor between reset and ground to keep it from rebooting. Because this uh, generation of Arduino didn't have the automatic uh, reset capabilities. But anyway, um, you can see that I've just got a power and a ground hooked from it to this little uh, proto board that I have here. And on that is a tiny... 13 AT Tiny 13 and it's running a small program that just blinks the LED on and off uh, once every two seconds on and on second off second 1001 1001 and um, I got the instructions on how to do this from uh, he said has a uh, complete instructions on how to use the Arduino as an AVR programmer and that seems to work just peachy keen. All the instructions worked just as he explained it, which is really great because um, now I can use these tiny chips, which cost about a buck, a buck and a half a piece, for all sorts of projects like embedded control of radios or, you know, maybe a paddle controller, uh, some kind of uh, Morse keyer, or blinking lights inside, say, a pumpkin for next week. So I've got some of those high power Cree LEDs, and combined with this, Maybe there's a project in, <laughs> that I could complete in just a day or so. So um, if you have one of these lying around and you want to reduce the cost of your projects by just using naked Atmel chips, uh, you can do that. And that's really, really cool. Another use for the Arduino. Anyway, give it a shot. I hope this is inspiring somebody to take on a cool project. This has been Mark of Van de Wettering of the Brainwagon blog.